Well, howdy diddly dandy there, Charms to Zai, Captain of the Steves. And today, Charms, I'm back on board my freighter. I'm going to be running some freighter missions. So I'm going to be talking to this chap right here and seeing what missions are available. Righto. Well, we've got a freestyle there. It's only going to take 50 minutes. Most of these are going to take under an hour. The only thing is, these missions don't cycle through until the next day, as we know. Anyway, we'll send out the longest one, which is two hours. And, uh, let's put a couple of organics inside of there. I'm going to put that one in. I'll put it in S-Class as well. There we go. And we'll put in a couple of the S-Class typey ones there. All right, and then we'll find one of a pirates in A-Class. There we are. It was completely overkill, that mission. But there we go. We sent all my best on the longest one. This one's a free star. I'll send out the other S-Class that I don't really need to upgrade. And also a C-Class in there with it. And I'll put in these, all these B-Class pirates. There we go. We'll send that out. Lovely jobbly. Next off, we've got another two star down here, an hour and 22 minutes. Let's uh, see what we can stick in there. So we've got another organic vessel there. And a radar. Oh, that's got a red dot on. I don't know what that's all about. Have we got any more organics? We have. We've got an organic there. We'll send those. Away you go. We've got two left. Right, OK. So let's see how many organics we can get into here. So I'll put in, I'll put in three in that one. There we go. And we'll send all those. Boom. Last mission, just a one star, 47 minutes. And let's just pick up any other organics that I have, just one. And there we go. That's that's pretty much that, people. Okay, let's send those on. Zoom, and away they go. So we've got all of our missions gone and spent. I'm going to go and hit save on here. Now, it is going to take two hours, as we know, before all these missions stop running. So what am I going to do in the meantime, people? Well, my living ship is looking rather cushy right now. So here's my living ship right here. Let me just uh, jump back into the other view so you can see the stats a bit better. And hopefully they're going to be above my head right here. So there's my stats currently. Now, the only thing I need is another screaming shell. Now, I'm hoping I get that from the expanding sacks because just flying backwards and forwards and trying to get it by random chance it's random chance, but then again, so is also the uh, sax, isn't it? But we'll see how we get on anyway. I've got a little bit fed up of flying backwards and forwards and shooting those melody things. And you can see here, I've got a massive surplus. So I've been doing it a fair bit. So what I figured is I might just focus on my freighter now and do a few derelict freighter runs. So somebody asked me the other day, how is my hyperdrive range so freaking mental? Well, I have got all these sort of modules in right now, but you can see here, none of these are really S-classy ones. Now, I have boosted that. I don't know whether that'll make a difference if I move that off quickly. No, really didn't, did it? Really didn't make a difference at all. But that one is also boosted by 355 light years or something. If I move that there, you can see that has greatly decreased it. So I guess if I put that one on there, because A-class, and that one on there, because that one's A-class, and move that one back there, you can see there, I've just I've just bettered it even more. So just move your modules around. But I do need to get some S-class ones of these and um, replace these A-class ones. So there is an area of space that gives a derelict freighter run that guarantees you an S-class. So you know what? I'm going to jump on over to that area of space and do some derelict freighter runs today, people, while I'm waiting for these to cool down. I mean, I've got two hours, so why the fudge not? So I'm going to go there and then uh, we'll reconvene. I'll, I'll tell you what, we'll reconvene at the portal when I'm putting in a portal code so you can see where this is actually inside of the verse. OK, I'll see you down at my portal. OK, chums, here I am by my portal. Right, so I've got to put in the code. And it is a double reflexione. Boom. Boom. Double pigeon. A sunset and a waypoint. Followed by a rocket and an eclipse. A TP or Vig Vam. A Boatyman boat face. A beetle. And the last one, another beetle. There we go, people. Right, when I reach at the other side, I'll, I'll tell you who actually fed in this code, people, to me, I guess. Let's head on in. Run like the wind, Captain! Oh, my days. Where am I going? And I'm in! Right there, people. You can see there that it says discovered by Leninsky. But 
I got this from my old video and the old video I credited a person called Poplar Ad 9530. Excellent sir. So this system has got a fairly simple freighter to run. So now I need to get a doohickey to do the freighter run. All right, so um, let's go get a doohickey. I, can't, I never remember what they're called. They're like an emergency signal booster or something like that, something along those lines. Anyway, I'll jump back over into game. We'll fly up to the station, people. I'll see you at the station. Okay, chums, well, I've arrived located at the station, I guess. Next, I need to go and get one of those doohickeys that I was on about. You know, the what's names, the thingy me bobs. Yep, let's head on over here and I'll give you the actual real legit name for it. Okay, here we go. Boom. Hello there. I offer many services, friend. Lovely jubbly. We um we want to purchase oh acquire quart no we don't. Where is it? It's acquire coordinates. One thousand six hundred it's, it's the top one. So we're gonna buy that. And they've given me this little radio device. That's it. Emergency signal scanner. Okay, right, cool. Now there is a way to recycle these and use them continuously without actually losing it from your inventory space. So let's fly on out and I'll show you how you go about doing that in this video as well. I usually mess this up, but if I do mess it up, I usually just put it into creative mode and buy another one if I haven't got the units. You know, it's it's, it's one of those. Okay, right, so. First off, I want to get that little doohickey that I just got. And because my inventory is so freaking bad, uh, it's going to take me a little while to spot it inside of here, people. Oh, there it is, right there. I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to put it inside of my living ship. Okay, living ship, starship. Just so I can find it that little bit easier. There it is right there. So I'm going to tune signal now, people. So I've just press square on that. And start pulsing. Boom. Lovely, lovely, lovely. That's going to bring in a derelict freighter. And then this little doohickey, I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to stick it inside of my personal refiner. It's in there. Okay. Because that thing normally disappears. The idea of putting it inside of your little refiner there is that when the game goes to look for it, to remove it from your inventory, once you get inside this derelict freighter, it can't, and you get to keep it. Now, Hello Games did put in a patch that sort of stops you from reusing it, though. And I don't know whether that's still active or whether I've done something wrong. We'll find out after we've run the freighter run whether I can reuse it. There we go. Let's go through the doors. What's behind the doors? George Doors. Uh, yeah. Lovely jubbly. Inside of here, you're going to find some repair kits. Very nice. Now, really what you want to do is clear out a load of your inventory space. So if you do want to go and loot everything on these derelict freighters, you've got room to do so. There's a lot that you can you know, harvest inside of these places. But for me, I just, I'm just i interested in the end console. That's pretty much it. The only thing is, to get to the end console, you've got to pick up all the data tabs and read all the lore. It's a bit of a grind, but anyway, let's, um, let's just unseal the door. I'm not bothered about the emergency supplies. Let me in. Aha, and I'll pop. And I'll blow your doors down. There we go, we can go on in. Right, so this derelict is supposedly an easy one to run. So there you go, let's see. Oh look, I just got a base part from that one. Of course, I haven't got all the base parts yet, have I? Okay, well, here we go. There's a data pad, you've got to hit these up. Now, when you're inside of these, if you just hit your scan, it lights everything up like a Christmas tree and shows you everything. I mean, look, there's a load of boxes here that I freaking ran past. Didn't see them, did I? There you go. Lovely jubbly. But this isn't really a looting run per se for me. I mean, yeah, I might as well loot a few things while I'm going through here. There we go. Open sesame. So the only thing that these this... um freighter has is those little duck, little guys and I want to interact with all the data pads obviously but if I do want to loot everything it's a case of interacting with all these little boxes that you see all the little box icons so 
So we know there's a data pad somewhere behind these crates. There you go. Run around here. Oh, there's another door there, though. I don't want to exit this room just yet. Oh, you got another base part. Awesome. So if you want base parts, if you're a base builder, this is a way to get an extra load of parts, and some of them are really cool. One of them, you get a little alien in a jar, so well worth having. Anyway, all you need to do is pick up all the data pads, read all the lore, make sure you interact with all the larger consoles as well, and jobs are good. Yeah, there's another data pad over here. There's some bits on the shelves here as well. Lovely. Going to interact with this one then. Oh, we've got an ancient bone. There we go. Done. There we go. We've got the security credentials already, people. So that's all good. If you see a purple door, the things that are behind a purple door is just a dead end normally. But sometimes you can find a data pad. So worth investigating them. And sometimes you get some pretty good loot in these dead end rooms. I uh, can't reach that one, can I? Yeah, I can. Just. There we go. There we go. I didn't get nothing decent inside of that one, though, did I? Right, okay, cool. Right, there we go. Looting, looting, looting. And uh, where did that other data pad marker go? Did I already do this one? That's the trouble is, it, it leaves the same markers on that you've already freaking interacted with, which is a little bit of a pain. Ah, there's one just there. There's a data pad there anyway. Let's go hit that one up. Lovely. And I might as well loot these as well. I didn't get any more base parts. Right, well, let's go to that big console over here. Let's go hit that up quickly. Those teleporters will take you back to the main entrance. You don't really want to do that at this stage. Heck no. Access crew manifest. Lovely, lovely. And we're going to use that security code thing that I just got. Update bio scan. Done, done, and done. And we're in, I think. There we go. We've got the crew manifest. Heck yes. Very nice. Very nice indeedy doody. Cool, yeah. Right. So now it's just a case of going through the blue doors, which is where you progress forwards with your search. And there we go. There's another data pad right there. Go hit that one up. You want the captain's log. Uh, I think we're going to get that from another computer in a bit. But there we go. We'll have that. Keep going. Hold on. Have I gone back the way I came? I think I have, people. Right, -o. so it should be a blue door that's actually locked. And I think before I saw this over here. Sadly, you can't really sprint on these things. Oh, there we go, we've got a little data pad there. Da -da 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 -da. There's the blue door, that's the one I wanted. And we're going to move forwards. Aha, we've got a stairwell. Coolio. Go down the level. Boom. Ah, get off the ladder. Come on, let's go round that. Okay. Heading over here. I mean, we can loot these crates. Like I say, I'm looking for base parts as well. There you go, there's another base part. Freaking lovely. Cool. And we've got a blue door here already. There's a purple door over there. Now these little things, if you hit them up, you're going to recover your hazard protection. It can get quite cold in these places. But I think I'm still on creative mode, so... Yeah. Sweet. Got a new terrifying sample there that I added to my catalogue too. Head through here. Oh great, well this is a bit of a dead end, but it has got a data pad, so that's worth reading. Go. Cool. And let's head on out. Dum, dum, dum. So we've done the uh, blue door. I mean, the, yeah, we did that. Did I get all these? Yes, I did. Right out. Head over this way. 
Are we going through this door then? Open sesame! Take that, slimy gits of evil! I guess. Captain liberated you of your life. Okay. Boom. Boom. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, you can see that I'm looting pretty much everything. And uh, I haven't come across anything too amazing apart from those base parts, which are freaking great. But the next time I do this, you'll probably find that those things that I found base parts in will still give other base parts. So I know that I'm, I'm likely to get at least another three base parts, which I've got so far, which is pretty darn lovely. OK, let's go hit this one up and see if we've got enough done. Captain's DNA. Hopefully I've got it. I'm just going to say is unknown. Whatever. And uh, yeah, access the captain's log. Here we go. Welcome, cadet. Log will record blah, blah, blah. Yeah, read captain's log. Let's find out what happened to this derelict. Sometimes they're interesting. We told the Viking of our purpose. All sympathetic life must be protected. This they know. They let us pass. We have arrived at the origin point. Biological entities swarm this world. Many emit holograms from their augmentation towers to fill the skies. Why do the Sentinels allow this? What planet would that be? Data stamp. We have performed our di dissections. A heart is required for the holograms to live on. Part of the brainstem also. These things will be extracted. With this we can work. I have to get brain stems and neural bits and organs and dissect stuff for my living ship. Interesting. Okay. Sweet. Well, we got that. Righto. Let's have a look around then. And I think we've popped pretty much everything. We've got those. Yep, we'll carry on this way then. Now, you can go into camera mode and whiz about and look for the doors if you really want to. Save yourself a bit of time. But here we go. There's a door right here. But this, this freight is quite an easy one to run. I mean, it hasn't got much bad guys in here, which is good, because some derelict freighters, you can get these pulsating sacks, and they pop open, and little git bags come out. They're uh, proper gits. Right, then we'll go for here. So you can see here, this has only got 10 areas to actually examine in the bottom corner. I've done eight of the 10 now, so there's only two rooms left to go. So I've pretty much fully... Ah, get off the ladder. I've fully investigated this, pretty much, anyway, people. So there we are. Eight of the ten. All right, might as well just uh, interact with some of these as well. We'll take out these little floaty git bags. Sneaking up on me, are you? Yeah, let's take that, you scallywag. Sweet. Lovely, lovely. I haven't had another base part for a little while, have I, people? All right, let's have a look around it. We can go here. Right, we've looted all of that, haven't we? There's a blue door there. There's a little case in the corner that I missed. We're going to have to go back for that blue door in a bit. We'll hit this up. Lovely, lovely. I probably didn't really have to interact with that last one there, but, you know, who cares. Did I come down this ladder? Maybe I did. Yeah, I can get lost very easily. I'm, I'm not all that... I'm not like a homing pigeon or anything like that. I've, I've not got that sort of ability. Okay, I have when I've got a sat-nav. I'm all right when I've got a sat-nav. Okay, might as well do this. Do that. And grab that. Oh, anything in there? Nearly missed all of that, didn't I? Got some nip nip! Have gears! There we go, nine. And uh, I think this is the last room then. Room ten. I think I've fully mapped the place now. I think, anyway. Okay. Well, there's one more door there. Okay. There's not much in here. Oh, there's a data pad on a crate. I didn't even see that data pad there. It's kind of merged into the crate, isn't it? We'll have that. Lovely. Kaboom. Grab that as well. 
And through this door over here, people. And we're in! Take that, slimy git! Okay, right. There's usually quite a lot to be had inside of this last room. But we've done every room. So my manifesto and the thing that I sell back at the station, hopefully I get a little bit of extra loot for it. I don't know whether that's the case, if it's a full log or what. But the thing that we're after, I'm going to be showing you in a moment, because it's a guaranteed S-Class. I'm just going to loot the rest of these boxes, might as well. Might as well read the rest of these data pads. Lovely. Captain's eyes only. Nice. It, there's nothing really that interesting in these data pads. You just get like a little bit of lore. Not not even that. You just get some snippets of what's going on roughly. Anyway, I think we're about good. And this is the last console. So we hit this up. I've got green ticks right across the board anyway. And here we go. And we want to fabricate the technology. That one's going to give you extra storage spaces for your uh, freighter. That's going to give you nanites, obviously. You want that one. Fabricate technology. Chickaboom! And we've got an S-Class. Lovely jubbly. Okay. And it's this one that I just got, isn't it? So if I was to implement that one, I can stick it on there. So this is fleet coordination, this one. Let's, uh, just, put, let's just mouse over. Let's have a look what it says on the same mouse. It says, expedition trade ability. So it ups your ability for trade or whatever. So I'll stick that there. Yeah, there we go. Boosted. Lovely jubbly. Right, we can initiate this, which is a little teleporter. That's going to take me to the main entrance. Zoom. I'm back at the main entrance now. Uh, there's the old airlock. That's the way in. I want the way out. Let's go this way. Back to my ship. And let's go fly on over to the station. And what I'm going to do in the station is I'm going to offload the captain's log and the other bits and bobs that I got from this. And then I'm going to retry using that little doohickey that I got, the emergency signal broadcasting radio thing, and uh, see if I can reuse it again. Because I usually get this wrong. Where's the station gone? There it is, over this way somewhere. Right out! And we're off! Happy chow! Cool, I'll see you back in the station. Okay, now as you're flying in, you're going to see two new icons appearing. They look like the derelict freighter icons. And depending where you send this... Why have I got an incoming broadcast? Hello, what do you want? Oh, okay, it's my fleet! It's my freighter fleet. We require immediate assistance. Planetary explorations teams found some unusual flora while on the ground patrol. Crew members all consumed the flora. Why?! Crew members are now very sick. Uh, okay. Antidote possible require comparative samples. All ground crew currently in Medical Bay can Captain Entity supply data. Agree to find the data. I assure the Captain I will find the samples I require to produce an antidote. Holy fudge. I've not had to do this before. All right, well, we'll have to go do that in a second, won't we? All right, okay. Um, fun times. We've got to find them an antidote. Well, I'm going to sell mine up here to the Guild Envoy and up my ratings. So here we go. Let's go on over here. Let's give it to him. There you go. Have the crew manifest. Yes, and he's giving me a free warp crawl. Lovely. Thank you very much. Okay, what else can I donate to them? There you go. You can, you can have that. You can have that. Oh, I've got that too. All right, you can have that. There you go. All donated. What can I have for free? Okay, I'll have your ion batteries. Thank you, mate. And I'll have all your oxygen. Go on then, I'll have everything. Right, there we go. We've done that then. Right, I've also got one other thing I can hand in. Down this way. Oh, fudge and heck. Not quite, hey. Under the stairs. I want to go under the stairs. Stop double jumping. Okay, right. Go on here then. Leave me alone. Get out of it! I don't want letterbox view. I'm trying to interact with this freaking guy. Okay. Yes, I'm. I'm amazing. Stop telling me. There we go. There you are. You can have that. Hokey dokey then. Right. Well, I would retry using that doohickey right now. But as you know, I've been given a mission. This one here. I've got to go find an antidote. Let's go do that quickly, and then we'll hit up another derelict freighter. I won't run the derelict freighter. I'll just see if I can get that doohickey to work again. The only thing is, I've got to come back to this area of space. Right, so where is this area of space? 
is called Sadoma. I think I can remember that. Right. Now, I want to know how to do this mission. And because of all those things popping up, it's not telling me. Hold L2 to use the... What? Toxic planet located in the fleet system. Reach the Indian system and gather the antidote resources. How far away are we talking? In there. That, that's where it's telling me to go. I don't see a fleet there, though. Okay, jumps. I've never had to do this sort of mission before, so I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Okay. Toxic planet located in system. Reach the marked planet. Okay, okay. Sweet. And what have I got to do down there? This is interesting. <laughs> I'll see you down. I've got a mission. I've got, I've got a message coming in. Interloper, Captain, we need your advice. We have been approached by strange organic looking starships. They do not answer our hails. The crew are worried. Oh, that's my doorbell. Hold on. The crew are worried and we have primed our weapons. How should we respond? Well, this is this is living ships. They're quite peaceful. I'm going to say communicate peacefully. Yeah, do not risk the attack. Treat the starships as if they were envoys of the local system authorities. There we go. Right, okay. Let's just continue on. Oh, fudge, we've got another message. What now? Unfortunate news, Captain Entity. There has been an incident and the fleet is badly damaged. I will prepare a full report for you. But in the meantime, I require your advice. Inspect damage report. Okay. Report the frigate MV. Recall for... Oh, man. The ship sustained mission critical damage. Um, I think it's one of my pirate ships. I'm not overly bothered. <laughs> All right. Continue on. Golly out. Continue with the mission. Well, today's been freaking busy, hasn't it? When it comes to these frigates. And my front door. You wouldn't know what that was. It was a delivery. So I ordered a t-shirt for the No Man's Sky meetup. There you go, I'll make myself a bit bigger on the old screen for a second. And, uh, yeah, there you go, look at that. Isn't that awesome? Pretty darn cool. So I got that, and what else? I ordered a board game, it's called Boss Monster. Yeah, Ninja Donjo Dojo Boy told me about this one. It looks quite cool, that looks like a Game Boy cartridge, doesn't it? And that looks like a Nintendo cartridge. Very happy with those. I'm going to be playing those on a future stream, I think, people. Right, well, we've arrived, Akated. Let's fly on down to planet. Toxic planet has been reached. Melody. Holy fudge, Nori. Look at the freaking terrain on this beast of a planet. I don't like this. Okay, so I've got to discover some plants on this evil planet. Okay, this is a freaking dark planet. This looks like Halloween planet, doesn't it? What the flying fudge? Okay, let's scan a tree. The quicker and get off this place, the better. Okay. Yikes. Okay, what's this weird plant thing here? Can I scan you? Yes, I can. One more plant. Oh, come on. Yeah. Can I scan these? No, they're just there for... Okay. Aha! There's a hazardous flora. That counts as a plant. Done. We've got all three. Right? Yeah, okay, I'll scan you just, just for the heck of it then. There you go. There we are. Antidote data secured. Return to space and make contact with the uh, space commander. Or the fleet commander. Let's get out of here. What a weird planet this is. Okay, let's go. Zoom. Look at the terrain on this beast of a world. Look at that. Anyway, let's go. Take to the skies. Happy chow. Zoom. There's a lot of lore about living frigates and stuff, isn't there? There we go. Captain Entity. Do you have the data? Upload data. There you go. Many thanks, Captain Entity. The ground crew have hung on bravely, knowing you had come to their aid. Oh, this is great. With this data, I'm sure we'll be able to develop an antidote. Goody, goody, gun drops. 
Right, let's head back to the old station. I'm going to use the teleporter in the station to get me back to that system where I was before. Yes! So I can um, continue on with my derelict freighter running and get some more technology. And we're going to see if we can get that doohickey to work an extra time for free. Hello, people, I'm warping back to Sodoma. Now I'm taking this opportunity to just ask, please hit that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment if you've got something to say. Right, OK, there we go. Let's um, head on over to my shipity ship. And let's see if I can take out that doohickey from my exosuit into here. So if I take that out of there, put that back into my exosuit now. Right, now I've got to try and find the dang thing. I should have put it in my starship, shouldn't I? Yeah, oh, that was a schoolboy error. There it is, right there. Okay, and look, it hasn't got the use button. I can't reuse it. And so, no, I can't reuse it. I don't know what I did wrong there. I don't... Oh, well, yeah, the square button, it doesn't work. So I'm just going to delete it. Now, I'm already in creative mode. And you can change your settings on the fly. So if I wanted to go back into relaxed or normal or whatever... You can hit it up whichever way you want. But in creative mode, you don't spend any units. So I'm just going to run back underneath the stairs. We're going to go talk to this guy. and I'm just going to buy another one. Because I can never get that to work anymore. There we go. And uh, I'll jump back into the game view. So it's now going to cost me 3 million, 3 foul, 100 foul, whatever. I'm just not going to use my units because I'm in creative mode. So I'm not really bothered. Okay, now we've got another one that's going to bloody work. Okay, and we'll fly out. And we go do another derelict freighter run. And it's just going to be a repeat of what I've done before, people. So we go. So let's go into the exosuit. There it is. Tune signal. And take to the skies. Go, go, go. Zoom. Initiate pulse. And it's going to be exactly the same derelict freighter all over again once it appears, peeps. Let's just uh, get aboard it. Lovely job, eh? There it is. Gordio. Flying on down to the derelict freighter. And I'm still after base parts, so I'm still going to loot pretty much every single chest. There is one base part that I really want. It's like a little alien in a jar. Uh, it takes a little while to get it. So, you know, hopefully I get lucky people. But you know what? I'm going to be doing a couple of derelict freighter runs, and then I'll be right back with you guys in the viewerverse once the two hours are up. I'm going to do a fair few of these runs. Okay, so I'll see you in a minute. Okay, see you in a bit. So chums, these little things down here, these are what you can get as a base part. These little tubes with these funky little aliens in. And that's what I'm after. Now, I did go and loot everything again on this run, and I got one new base part. It wasn't the little alien in the jar. It was like one of those um, heater thingies that I just hit up every now and again. Anyway, let's head on over here. Let's uh, see if we get lucky. No, it didn't get lucky. Right up. We'll see what we get as an S-Class module on this second run. Lovely jubbly. Go. Cool. Leave. Let's head on over then. Let's interact with this. Engineering console. Last console. Fabricate technology. What S-Class one am I going to get this time? Sweet! We got the, uh, the Welly Mantwelly. I guess. So if I put that there... Oh, it didn't even break technology. All right, fine. Well, I can move that down there then. And stick that one in there. Kaboom. Now it's even higher. Freaking heck. Walk proficiency. INF. What's that? Infinite? <laughs> oh, freaking nose, people. All right, anyway, we got that all in there. I might as well move that there just to make it look a bit neater and tidier. Coolio. All right, well, that, that's pretty darn sweet, isn't it? Let's uh, hit this up and teleport her. I've just seen another case that I haven't opened yet. Nanites in there. Okay, right. Well, through the teleporter we go. I guess. And uh, I think the next time that I reconvene now might be when uh, I've got the freight, the frigate fleet to actually sort of interact with. Although I've already done two of these freight, these derelict freighter runs. I think that's enough for a day. I think I'll do two a day just to see how I get on. We've got another incoming message, people. Hello. Captain Entity, we're in need of your assistance. Our research team may be on the brink of an important discovery. We're analysing genetic material of suspected non-carbon life forms, but we've reached a dead end. And we'd be honoured if you would consider confirming our discoveries ourselves. 
We help the research team investigate this creature. Your personal visor technology would be tremendous assistance. Agree. Okay. Well, I, I guess we're off on another adventure then, people. This is this is cool. I've never had so many interactions with my freighter fleet in all my life. What the flying fudge? Okay. Let's head on over there then. Let's go see these guys. This has been an interesting episode. Well, I've, I've been interested. Right. Well, we've arrived, Kated. And um, where is this target planet? We've got to go scan a creature this time. Last time we had to scan Flora. This time we're scanning a creature. Now, last time I got quite a lot of thanks for the work that I did. And it does feel quite nice taking part in these frigate missions. I guess. Pretty darn groovy. Groovy, baby. Right, let's uh, head on down then. Well, it's taken me to the night side of the planet. There's a good chance. Scan animals to gather data for the fleet. One animal. Well, thank fudge for that. It's it's some sort of weird planet. There's only one creature on this planet anyway. Whether I find it at night is a different sort of kettle of fish, isn't it? All right, people. Let's um, see if we can find this creature for them. Can take a little while for creatures to spawn. Spawns a the planet, then the creatures. There's one there, 194 U's away. There it is. Done. Okay, well, I can upload that. Heck yes. Done, Dilly, and done. I'm just going to upload everything. Love it! Love it, believe it, you better gang way, you better hit balls out of kids down play. If you got a problem, you won't solve it, scanning creatures for my journey. Okay, let's scan up then. Yep, yep. Let's talk to this chap. Yes, I've got the data, mate. Freaking who's the freaking boss of that? Freaking me, mate. Freaking me. Okay, well what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head back to the station. I'm gonna use the teleporter to go back to Sodoma, or whatever it is. And um, so I'm ready to do my next derelict freighter run or teleport back to my um, freighter to debrief frigates. So I can do everything from stations, really, can't I? So, yeah, lovely jubbly. Right, -o. well, I'll see you guys later. All right, see you in a bit. Well, chums, I'm aboard my freighter and hopefully we're at the point where we can debrief some of these actual missions. And we are, they're all ready. This one's a bit knackered though. I've got some breakages right over here. Okay, right, I might have to go fix those later, people. Right, oh, there we go then. I request mine dump. Let's see what we get. Cool, yo. Oh, we got something. We got spawning sacks times two. Here you go, I'll jump over into the other view so you can see a little bit better. Lovely jubbly, spawning sacks times two. Always good to see. Cool, yo. And we got two broken dead ships, so I might have to go look at those in a moment. Let's go over to this one. Sweet. It's already got one of the uh, living ships in there. Are we going to get anything? No, we didn't get nothing. Nothing on that one. Okay, well, this has got three organic ships in. Let's see what we get in this one. Uh, hammer through there. Nothing again. Okay. We'll head on over to this one. We've got two in this one. And there we go, we've got a Psygnotic Egg. Nice. Anything else? Nope. This doesn't overly matter how many ships you put in, it's just sheer fluke, isn't it? Luck, I think. Okay, we're well, just going over to here then. We've got two in this one. Well, let's see what we get. Okay, a relic. Fine. Albion Pearls. Sack Venom. And nothing. Nothing of the organic variety. Alright. Well, there we go, people. That's a bit weird. That little message pops up afterwards there. But yeah, doing okay. Doing okay. But uh, let's have a look at the old freighter now. Let's let's see what we have. Boom. I'm down a bit. Where are they? So we've got six. Six spawning sacks and nine psychotic eggs. You know what, people? I'm going to carry on sending out my missions every single day anyway just to get all of my frigates up to like you know s class and what have you and i'm also going to probably do a few more derelict runs if i can be asked um but at the same time 
think we're about good. I don't think we've got any more missions I can send out right now. Nope. And we have got those two frigates to go fix. So let's go over here. Manage fleet. And uh, which ones are broken? Okay, here we go. Let's uh, let's teleport aboard. Zoom! And we're off. Oh, and we're there. Okay, well, let's see if we can find where we need to fix these things, shall we? Okay, there seems to be something broken over there. And down here. Bit dangerous doing that, just you know, jumping off, leaping to your doom. Fixed Look it over here. Half a chow! Is that it? Have I fixed everything? Oh no, there's some more over this side somewhere. Hmm. How far is that? I don't know whether to just jump over the hole. Not too sure how I get down to that one, to be honest. Alright, leave it with me, I'll work it out. Okay, chums, well I've fixed all of my frigates, and um, yeah, that, that's pretty much that done. So, I know that I said that I was going to give it a full week, but I think I've given it long enough to do all this sort of collecting of the organs and things like that. I think we can safely say that they are quite rare, these organs, aren't they? You know, the spawning sacks. So I'm just going to duplicate the fudge out of them. So we go, let's go on over here, go to my, oh, you can't get your freighter inventory, can you? Righto, okay, so that's freighter inventory, and I want to lift and shift the things that I want to duplicate. Oh, for fudge sake. Okay, freighter, scrolling down, and the things I want to duplicate. Here we go, and I'm going to put them in my starship so I can find them a bit easier. Okay, righto, and then over to my starship, and I want to grab these, oh, okay into here boom starship and i want to put the spawning sacks in first right and then i want to get this and stick it on top of there cool and again and again i'm just going to do this for freaking eternity in fact that'd do and then what I do is once I've got it all the way down, I'll do that one more time with a whole batch of them, you know? Bit bit easier. Right, so here we go. Let's do that again. Hopefully it's put it inside of my starship. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? it probably hasn't. See? Right, go. Cool. And starship. Yeah, didn't think it would. That'd be too simple, wouldn't it? Okay, right, let's um, go down here then and let's see if we can find the dang things. There we go, 60 of them. Right. Um, I don't know how much storage the living ships go up to, so I'm just going to be a little bit extra. Yeah. Doesn't matter if I've got more than I need. That do. Right, let's see how those work then, shall we? So let's go grab our spawning sacks. Where are they? Come on. Has it put them on the freighter? It has. Okay, alright. Exosuit. So where's the rest of them gone? Oh, there they are. Exosuit. You know what, I'll put them in the starship. Might be easier. Any more for any more? That'd do. Right, let's go over to the starship then. Let's start popping these things. I want to do the technology area first, actually. There we go. You can see how I move that. Slap all those in. Lucky I did go to town and get a load, eh? There's a lot of slots. probably more than 60 who knows there we go that's done right next let's see what we get inside of the lottery of the uh, spawning sacks shall we not the spawning sacks you know what i mean the psychotic eggs i'll stick those in there right here we go let's try that bum, bum, bum. 
Overlay, overlay, overlay. Oh, 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 oh. So tricky. There we go. Whoa, nearly picked up my safe point there. Okay, well, I think we've got enough of the Psychnopky eggs to do in a bit of an experiment, haven't we? So let's go back over here and let's uh, scroll on down. Psychnotic eggs, where are you? Are you on my freighter? Fun times. I really wish there were some sort of sorting buttons. Oh, there we go. There we go. We've got it. We've got it. Put them inside my starship. There's some more right there. Inside the starship. Right. Okay. Let's go to the starship. Let's pop a few of these then, shall we? There we go, let's do this stack first. Okay, we've got quite a lot of shield ones, which is good. I haven't seen the pearl thing appear yet. That's what I'm waiting to see anyway. Okay, they're all gone. All right, well, um, that is the neuro shield implant, which we've already got. Um, it's done one of these, which is the one that I need. So we can stick that there. And I can upgrade that. But what I was hoping to get was the water thing. Chloroplast membrane implant. I think we've already got this. Oh, well, hold on. That looks different. What the fudge is that? Okay. Oh, what the fudge is that? A wormhole brain from its vision of a system far beyond its experience. Ah, it's like a, they're scanners. Okay. So they're going to give us all the scanner ability. Cargo probes. Okay. There it is. That's the saline carpus. Frick heck yes. Lovely jubbly. That lets me land on water. Bilious gills. I wonder if that's going to break tech. Yeah, that's broken tech. So I think we've got everything we really need now, people. I don't think we're going to get given any more technology. We can hatch another 30, can't we? Let's have a look. No, we still don't. We still haven't got the equivalent of missiles or anything like that, people, from what I can see. I think we're pretty much limited to, yes, yeah, spewing vents and pulsating heart, neural assembly and grafted eye. Yeah, we're not getting any new technology, so I'd keep... OK, those. chums, we're heading down to a planet with water. And let's just see how we get on and land it on said water, shall we? Just land here. Yes, aquatic landing initiated. I guess. Let's go into your camera mode. Let's see how this looks from the outside. Kaboom! We have managed to land our living ship on water, people. You know what? If I get a little bit closer and do a little cheesy grin, that could be my fun now! Heck yeah! Isn't that cool? Well, I think it is. There we are. Done. All right, that, that, that'll do for the fun now. Lovely jubbly. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think I've finished doing my living ship. And I think my freighter for now, sending out missions, is going to be good enough. I mean, yes, I could continue to run the derelict freighters and hopefully get another S-Class hyperdrive module and get other modules to speed up my running of missions and things like that. But it means running derelict freighter runs time and time again. Yes, I could probably speed run them, but I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I'll see how quickly I can run them, see if it's worth my time. But to be fair, I don't know whether it is. Especially with clown saves coming, I might be able to transfer my PlayStation save where I've done all this over to my PC. Yeah, anyways, there you go, people. That's pretty much everything that I have for you.